What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here for you. In today's video, I'm doing another hardware wallet comparison. We have the brand new N-Grade Zero premium and high-end hardware wallet, and we have the Descent wallet. Stay tuned, you definitely don't wanna miss this one. All right guys, welcome back. So there's lots of updates on both of these wallets, and I know I've done a lot of hardware wallet comparisons, but these two specifically in this video I wanted to cover because the Engrave Zero got its first software and firmware update since I got my hands on it here. And on my right, the Descent has some new coin support, some NFT support, and some other exciting things. Before I get into the actual content, I just want to point out that I have typically three categories that I use when determining which hardware wallet to buy. And number one, is going to be the design, security, form factor, and overall user experience of the device. Two is going to be the overall coin support. Do any of these devices have unique coin or staking support or NFT support and so on? And that is arguably the most important one for most people. And third and final category is the price comparison and ultimately which one of these wallets I would choose if I could only pick one. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start here with the Engrave Zero on my left. I've had this for a couple of months now and this is the first firmware update that's actually happened with it. This is a premium high-end and very secure device. It has the world's first EAL7 Plus security element chip. This is also an air-gapped wallet that uses QR code transmission and it actually uses a unique three-tier system where you can use Liquid, which is the mobile app, the Engrave Zero, which is this device in my hand, and the Graphene, which is the metal recovery seed backup that has your private key in a separate format. So let's take a look at the Zero. As you can see, it's got a four inch touchscreen display. It's battery powered. If you look on the bottom, it's got a rubber stopper here. This is for the USB port. This is not only for charging the device, but is also used for the firmware upgrades and updates to the device to add new coins, new staking, NFTs and so on. On the side of it, on the left here, this is the mechanical button to power it on and power it off, pretty straightforward. Then if you look on the back here, you're going to see the fingerprint authenticator where you can have up to five fingerprints. That means that you can either set up multi-signature with Bitcoin, which is really nice, or you can have five different people sharing this one wallet if you so choose. And then there's a camera right here, which will allow you to scan the QR codes to sign and send the transactions which I've been testing on their firmware update and it's very smooth and they've fixed a lot of the bugs or slowness that was happening on the first iteration. So things are looking really good here for Engrave. Like I mentioned, the security has the highest security element chip that you can possibly buy. This is very user-friendly. It's very easy to use. This is an air gap device. So you use this camera here to actually scan the QR code. It's similar in the transmission as to say like an Elipal Titan or a Keystone Pro, but Again, this is a, a very unique and high-end premium device. Overall, it's a pretty smooth software. It's got a big touch screen, which we'll take a look at in the next section when we talk about coin support and sort of the navigation. You have your 24 recovery seed phrase, which again is optional here as well. Then there's an option for a 25th word to customize it and make it even stronger. You also do have multiple authentication and factors. So if you wanna have a pin plus a fingerprint to sign a transaction, that can be done as well. So you got a lot of customization in terms of the overall security. And of course the Liquid app that comes with it is actually pretty smooth as well. Overall, as far as the design security, this is really top-notch security and arguably the best. And of course is biometric with your fingerprint authentication there. Moving on to the Descent. The Descent is also a biometric wallet. This square pad right here in the middle, this is for you to unlock the device and sign transactions with your fingerprint. This is actually one of the first biometric hardware wallets. However, this is a Bluetooth device and it has a charger at the bottom here. This has a CCAL5 plus security element chip, which is not as high as the Engrave. This is more in line with like the Ledger Nano X in terms of its security, in terms of its transmission, which is wireless and Bluetooth. Both devices use a mobile application. None of them are required to be tethered to a computer or use a USB or a desktop application like some other hardware wallets. So these are both wireless biometric wallets, which is really nice. 
This one does have a large black and white OLED screen as you can kind of see it powering on here. And then it kind of just feels like a nice car fob. It's got brushed stainless steel at the top. It's sort of got like a nice in your hand material and it's relatively small. It kind of just fits in the palm of your hand. And then it has a navigational D-pad where you can click OK, you can go back and obviously navigate the screen as well. And it syncs up directly with the Decent mobile app, whether you're on Android or iOS. So overall, I would say this is more security wise in line with like a, like a Ledger Nano X. However, being wireless, being Bluetooth, it is still relatively secure. As far as the overall functionality, it's not a touchscreen, but it is mobile and the form factor is really nice. It's very comfortable and the mobile application is pretty smooth and clean as well. The real differentiator on this device is going to be the coin support. So while I'm holding it, let's transition over to the second category, which is coin support. The overall coin support is really, really well. Over the past year, they've implemented several new blockchains. Some of the unique coins that you're going to get here is the Clayton blockchain. You're going to get Rootstock. But more importantly, the most important thing that they've added to this is NFT support. So it of course covers Bitcoin, Ethereum, all ERC20 tokens, a lot of the gaming and DeFi tokens. Those are all on the ERC20 standard. But what makes this also unique that not a lot of other hardware wallets have is this does support Avalanche and it does support Solana and their related tokens. So that is a huge win if those are coins that you're looking for on the Decent hardware wallet. In terms of the coin support category, the Decent is winning in overall coin support. The amount of blockchain supported, the amount of NFT support, and ultimately this is a really good device for the money. However, this device specifically is designed for having more coins and more blockchain supported. So this is more in line with the Ledger Nano X, except this has more native support for some of those blockchains if you're looking for AVAX and Solana as well. So just wanted to throw that out there that that's unique in terms of the hardware wallet world as we're discussing it now. Now on the Engrave Zero here, you're gonna see that it has pretty basic coin support since it's been added here. It's got Bitcoin, Ethereum, all ERC20 tokens, pretty standard. Native application for Dogecoin. There's custom coins that I added specifically that I hold and use like Chainlink, Ocean Protocol, iExec. It does have Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, stable coins like USDC and Tether. Also, it comes with DAI. If you're into some of the metaverse or gaming tokens, you have Engine, you have Mana, you have Sandbox. If you're into more of like the decentralized exchange-based tokens, you have your Uniswap, your Aave, your One Inch, your Curve DAO, Compound, and Matic, just to name a few. And then recently, I use Ren, Soshi, Synthetics, and then in the new firmware update, Tezos has been added, as well as Elrond. In fact, let's add Elrond right now. You just click on Add Coined. It says Elrond, it auto completes, I hit select, and it's now adding that coin directly to the wallet. Boom, there it is. So very clean and very intuitive user interface. As I mentioned here, as far as the overall coin support, it has all of those connections, support for your Polkadot ecosystem and its related coins and tokens. And I do know that Solana and AVAX are on the roadmap, but since this is a relatively new device, it does take time for those new coins and for that new software to actually roll out. This is where the camera is for scanning QR codes, pretty slick. And then as far as this button here, this allows you to sync your mobile app with your portfolio on the hardware wallet. This does not have a 24 word recovery seed phrase that's generated at the beginning of the initialization. This generates a random on device private key. And then if you wanna go into the settings here and click on display secret key, you do have an option to check the mnemonic phrase and it will have you verify it with your pin and fingerprint. You can come here for setting up hidden accounts. There's a lot of extra security features. Multi-sig and multi-factor authentication is another big plus. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Engrave and everything that it's doing. Even though it doesn't quite have the coin support of this, this is one that I really do enjoy using and is leading to be my favorite hardware wallet so far. However, let's get to the third and final category, which is the price. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I have partnerships with these companies and my links down in the description will always have the lowest price. If there's any deals, discounts, promotions, it's automatically tied to my link in the description, specifically Decent, because it's not something you can find a discount code for anywhere else. Now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let me give you 
the full retail price for these hardware wallets. Engrave Zero on my left, full price on retail is currently, as of shooting this, 398 euros. However, there is a bundle option where you can get this plus the metal recovery seed plate, graphene, and those as a bundle together is 498 euros. As I mentioned, this is your top tier high-end premium hardware wallet and it, everything that comes along with it, so keep that in mind. And then on the Decent wallet, the full retail price on this is $159. However, my link in the description, if you click it, will get you a custom price of $109. So this is actually relatively cheap with my discount, especially when you compare it to other comparable Bluetooth wireless hardware wallets. So ultimately, if I could only pick one of these, it really honestly just depends on your coin support needs and on your usability needs. In my particular case, I'm such a fan of the security and the innovation that is coming right now on the Engrave. So if I personally could only pick one, I would pick the Engrave, but it is the most expensive hardware wallet that's out there right now. If I'm looking for something sort of mid-tier that has NFT support, more coin support, and it still has biometric authentication, it's not air-gapped, but it does have Bluetooth, which is still wireless and still mobile. In that case, I would choose the Decent. It really just depends on your budget and what your coin needs are. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And then if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of these hardware wallets, comment down below, let me know, and I'll answer them the best I can since I use these quite a bit. I'm very excited because both of these had recent firmware upgrades, so new features, new coins, new NFT support on this one, so very exciting stuff. And then go ahead and click right here in the top right corner to watch my video unboxing the Engrave Zero and doing a deeper dive in that. And I will see you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.